to part 11 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, where I've collected all of the Tears of Light and no more Twilight. Look how beautiful Lake Halia looks now. <laughs> so, like, what, what, so what do you remember that you have to do next? Um, well, I know the Lake Bed Temple is supposed to be next. But first, I need to, I think, do some things, maybe some side quests here, whatever. And I am joined by Bio Phoenix and, for the second time with us, Logan of Outlaw Harvest. Hey! Chase, this guy. <laughs> that dude always creeped me out. Yeah. He still <laughs> needs to get a real shirt. <laughs> well, what is this, Mario 64 now? Whoa! That's a long loading time. Right, yeah. <laughs> so that'd probably be more fun. At least in Mario 64, it'll show you um, as you're like flying in the air. Yeah, also you get to shoot like wherever the hell you want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this one's not as fun. They charge you for it. <laughs> oh, you have to, like, run off the edge of, like, the chickens, if I remember right. Um, yeah, I believe so, and, uh, that's what we gotta do before we get to the Lake Bed Temple. We got to bring that injured Zora child to the shaman of Kakariko Village so he can get healed. Whoa, who is that? Get away from him. You know yeah, what, forget the... let's get out of here. Yeah, that's the other creepy fucker. Yeah. I was just thinking... Right, back to Hyrule Field, and we call the pony here. I was just thinking, maybe every time you pick up an item or talk to someone in this game, which is like most of the game, it seems, at this point, like they just do a microtransaction. That's the new HD remaster for the NX, just microtransactions every time you talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Ah, uh, here we go, another weird guy. <laughs> running man. He's not as weird as that last guy. Oh, two letters. <laughs> yeah. E ECW. <laughs> He's like the the postman, but without the car. Yeah, he like. Run. I think there's a part in this game where you can actually make him like run off the ledge, which is kind of funny to think. <laughs> no, you can't? <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to do it, but there's a certain point in the game if you stand in like, a certain spot, and when he like activates his like his speech thing, he'll like run like towards you, but since there's like a cliff in the way, he'll like fall down it and it'll actually just show it and you won't get the message. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look it up on YouTube. Yeah, that's how I found out about it, and I was like, oh wow, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Whoa! Castlevania 64? I mean, uh, Castlevania for GameCube, rather, now? Yeah, with the, um, motorcycle riding, um, skeletons. Right, they didn't make sense, but that was still cool. Yeah, well... Yeah, it, it, it was fucked. <laughs> Alright, so... Motorcycle. We got through collecting the tears of light from those evil bugs, now we're collecting the good bugs. Caught a praying mantis. You know, oh, nice. this... This game... This game reminds me strangely of Skyrim. For whatever reason, I have a big feeling that that the Twilight Princess was an inspiration for Skyrim. Somebody on that team. Yeah, probably oh. was. I thought I was gonna say Skyward Sword. Skyrim Sword? Fail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because if you look at this game, it's like a, it's a 
more open gothic version of Zelda and like um, Skyrim is very open and gothic except it's just way more open and you can talk to more people and the talking actually feels more interactive in a way because um, you can actually choose what you're gonna say I love the song at night in Hyrule Field. Yeah, it's really eerie. That's me, direction. Yeah, the whole sounds like Malin. The whole Thomas ODST. Singing it. Is really... Yeah, the whole ODST is great, really, or OST for this game is really, really good. ODST. The same goes for. <laughs> I think there's a game called that. Yeah, it's a Halo ODST. ODST 2K. <laughs> I thought that was way more funny than it did. I know the point. Imagine seeing a glow butterfly at night, that'd be cool. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, ODST 2K kinda sounds like, I don't know, like, like the Master Chief playing, like, basketball or some shit. Or it sounds like. S2K has ADD or something. <laughs> oh, where are you going now? Are you trying to run from me now? Uh. That's a film. Fatality. Alright, look out, horsey. Don't want to blow you up. A... I wonder if there's a Teletubbies game. That would be cool. I'd be all over that. I think they have one on PS1. Really? Yeah, Ooh. I think they do. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, PS1 is my babe. Remember the whole controversy back in... Well, I don't know if you guys remember. Y'all guys are really young. But in 2001, Jerry Falwell was really, like, talking bad about the shuttle because Tinky Winky carries a purse, and he said... Tinky Winky is gay. This is not right. Tinky Winky is gay. Teletubbies are bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that, but, you know, which is weird because Teletubbies was around when I was younger. Yeah. And I think the, uh, the little baby that, where the baby's face was in the sun is, like, probably in her late teens or early 20s now, I think. Hmm. Probably early 20s, wow. I would imagine. Yeah. And, yeah, that's should yeah, I... me out. In other words, your age. Yeah. I never watched Teletubbies back when it was, like, brand new episodes. I always watched it, like, in syndication on, like, a weird time on a Saturday or Sunday. What the heck was a Teletubby anyway? I have no freaking idea. Drugs. Exactly. Who, who does? <laughs> That's gotta do research on it. I don't know. I went through this very, like, weird, extensive period in, in my youth where I just wanted to be in the Teletubbies. Like, I, I would fantasize about like being in the Teletubbies world and it being the greatest thing ever that I and I have like artwork that I drew and stuff it's, it was a really weird period of my life I even wrote like fan fiction and stuff like that I think I was like seven or six years old I was writing Teletubby fan art and fan fiction <laughs> nice. well, as long as you weren't like you know, writing fan fiction about them having a massive orgy, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like six years old, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can barely remember anything from when I was six years old. I remember when I turned six, I was mad. Cause I was so used to being five, and everybody asked me, How old are you? I'm five. And then I found out I was turning six, and I was not happy. <laughs> That's pretty great. 
Yeah, I have a very similar experience to that because when I was five, I had that mindset like, boom, I am in charge. Everybody should listen to me because I'm five. Hey, I'm, I ain't four anymore. I'm five now. So I'm the boss. Right. And then when I when I turn six, I'm like, well, if I was the boss when I was five, what does it mean when I'm six? And like, it, it was really weird. <laughs> Well, this game is 10, 10 years of ECW, as I'm getting ready for another ECW moment here where I'm going to learn another skill. Yeah, Skeleton Link. This is the third skill I'm going to learn. I do not. Just kidding. Oh, you had to pick I do not, or else the game can't continue. Right. It's like an Ocarina of Time. Dost thou wish to take on this quest? No, says no, Link. You must do it. <laughs> yeah, that fucking owl. I'm so glad this thing doesn't have that. Yeah, actually, I was talking about the DQ tree. He says that at the uh, beginning of the game, where you, you have to choose. A, yes, of course, but yeah, that owl, pretty annoying. Yeah, or the, whatever the owl's name was. I can't even remember the owls, and I just call it the stupid owl of, like, stupid. <laughs> yeah. want to say like 20, 2012 or 2013 when I was constantly frequent, frequenting the, the, the GameFAQ forums for uh, the GameCube and I would always see like these posts about uh, Twilight Princess and Link's skills and stuff. It was it's a weird time. I guess there was like a big boom in that game back then. Now I'm going back to Hyrule Castle Town. Yeah, it's funny, because this game came out on the Wii first, by like a couple months, or more like a month, I think. Then, like, it came out on the GameCube later, and the GameCube version just happened to be better. Yeah. The so, control. like, what they're gonna do with oh. the Switch? Yeah, pretty much. But, yeah, it's mostly because of the, you know, the fact you're actually using a GameCube controller rather than, like, you know, flaying your arms like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this know, right I like the motion Agatha's balls. Castle. Yeah, Agatha's Castle. Yeah, Agatha's Castle, we got like... the bugs you collect, you need to turn them into her. Oh, yeah, um... I think they work fine in some games, but then there are some games where they're just annoying to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, in a game like Mad World where they use the motion controls in an interesting way, to where it actually feels different um, when you're uh, when you're just slashing through enemies because you learn different abilities, or in like uh, No More Heroes, for example, where you actually use the Wii mote as a phone when you're talking in the game like that stuff I think is really fun you know but if it just gets like weird and like you have to move too much that that can be a problem especially if it's not accurate like Twilight Princess um I haven't played it on the Wii but I hear a lot of things that it is very uh, strenuous to play because of its weird controls but I think motion controls in general can be really really cool and uh, an example of how to do that, you know, more heroes, because there's an extra level of interactivity within that, and it keeps. Now I'm gonna tell him. But whoa, Doctor Wiley, what are you doing in this game? <laughs> Wait a minute. Lila? What? Don't act like you don't know me. 
Sorry, bud. I'm pregnant. Oh, jeez. Alright, so I'm on this bar here. The cat has to heal her. Yeah. Or him. Or something. Okay. Yeah. It's like, oh. Um, Man, I don't used to hire better people. <laughs> what do you mean? Because, like, you know, like, all, like, the guards are, like, apparently not oh. that good. So, you know, to be, she needs to hire better people. To what, do sure, for me to hire better programmers or what? Like, what? No, like, better, like, guards and soldiers. Oh, oh yeah, Zelda needs to hire... Oh, I, I, see, I'm thinking you meant Nintendo needs to hire more. I don't know why. You said Zelda, not Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, but the star, the star soldiers, the soldiers, you're not stars, they're cowards. Link seems to be the only one to do anything. Is that Ken? He's the internet troll. Yeah. The one that, like, fucks with your videos and, like, talks shit about your mom on random topics. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sends you death threats and... False okay. flash your videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, I... Exactly. Whoa, how'd they get over there that fast? I, I actually had uh, a very <laughs> weird experience uh, with that false flagging thing. Because... Um, I commented on this video called Anime is Trash, which is going around on, like, Facebook or whatever. I commented on it, because this guy, he, he runs over and he, like, insults these people and says, like, they're, they're re retarded or something. So, I comment on it and I'm like, yeah, this is anybody who uh, judges somebody on, on a TV show they watch is pathetic or whatever. And then, like... Uh, like we should judge people on who they are not on what TV shows they watch and stuff like that and then I immediately go to my channel and I get all these comments like saying um, uh, yeah you should die and stuff like you gotta you know you, you should kill yourself and I get all these same comments in this thread on this video yeah, yeah that sounds like comments. never heard those before <laughs> Alright, so now we're playing Little House in the Prairie for GameCube. <laughs> that uses horse and buggy to get across Hyrule Field and into a pack rig of village safely. I hate this part, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think I died right here a few times the first time I tried it. We should do a Let's Play of uh, Little House on the Prairie, just have us commentating over the show. <laughs> Or we run through the flowers. Uh oh.
Gotta do this again. Nice, oh, he has nowhere. So the second battle with that troll on the bridge is a lot easier the first time. <laughs> but it's not over yet. Still got a ways to go before we reach Kakariko Village. Kakariko. Yeah, or as J-Man says, Crackhead Village. Crackhead Village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds well, like considering like everyone there looks. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna say, considering like everyone in that town looks kind of fucked up looking, yeah, they're probably our crackheads. Yeah. I wanna find ECW Village. Wonder what came of a village without, dude. Yeah, Paul Heyman would be the shaman. Paul Shaman and the bell. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be like wrestling rings everywhere, and then we'll be housed. It'd be like, I guess, g arenas or gyms, tables, ladders, and chairs. Every time there's a fence, it's actually barbed wire. Yeah, I did try here. This would be barbed wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there'd be like an ongoing fire. Yeah. Oh, nice. It was Ridley's, one of Ridley's kids. Oh, buggies on car, wagon, whatever you call it. Use the gel boomerang to put the car out. And you're so much better than me at this. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad in this LP, it's as if someone else is actually playing. Oh, ouch, I'm not doing good right there. I want to do an LP where everybody is playing the exact same game at the same time in the same parts, but we're just all in the same hall. That would be pretty interesting. The live stream? No. Well, it, 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 it could yeah, be a live stream, it doesn't have to be. But I think that would be easier to yeah. set up, though. Yeah, it's like, uh, we're all playing, um, RC Pro-Am, and, like, Chris has got RC Pro-Am going, I've got it going, you've got it going, and we're just all in a Skype call. Was that ECW AM? What? Well, that game is ECW, me the interview. so... Thank you, uh, you told me in the interview, you did, if we interviewed me, that you did do that with a friend of yours. Being a sky call and y'all playing the game at the same time or something like that. Oh yeah, we we did it like over the phone. Like when when we were we would play Minecraft, we do these let's play videos where he'd be on the phone and I'd be holding the microphone with me talking and also having the phone on speaker. <laughs> yeah. I kind of had to do that with the Super Metroid live stream with S2K in order. To have the Skype app on call with Jeff and Tibbs and put the phone close to the microphone as I'm playing Super Metroid. Yeah, I don't know if I do it with, like, the actual, like, Skype itself, because I know you can, but I don't know how. Yeah. But you just gotta make it work. I did it bootleg, bootleg style. Oh, watch out. We're almost there. Well, we are there. I just gotta... 
I think, like, the most bootleg video you could possibly do is, like, have your camera being recorded on a VHS camera, have your gameplay recorded on a VHS camera, and then, like, commentate using one of those weird things where you plug it into the VCR, and then, like, you have a microphone that's one of those old ones, and, and then, like, you use video effects through that, or whatever. Oh my god, I can only on, imagine. And have someone on, like, an analog phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, someone should just do a video like that, just to see what it would look like. Yeah. Alright, so I we made it to Akrika Village, and the shaman is taking care of the Zoro child. Is it Rollis? I think the child's name is Rollis, and he said was... he's gonna be okay, he needs to rest. saying her name wrong like you usually do in the Zelda games there's like says Laya yeah I'm trying to figure out how the hell that was said and well since this game doesn't have voice acting you know it's kind of hard to... <laughs> yeah I'm, I think it's Laya I don't know Lila Laya whatever liar 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 Jim Carrey It gives you room to make weird voices as it goes along. Imagine just like a full let's play of just all the cutscenes from, from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess with people making like weird voices over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you did good, honey. It's like, quit calling me honey. Damn, sugar. I'm not that sweet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. on you. <laughs> I do not want to go to the bar with you. Never. <laughs> Maybe like, did I just get hit on? Now she's hitting on him. <laughs> There's not the RKO. Out of <laughs> nowhere is Ralph's mother. The princess <laughs> of... She was the princess of Zora's domain, but she's dead. In the previous parts, for those that watched, she made a decision saying that if you rescue her son, she'll give you a prize. So I guess we're gonna get that prize right now. On the grave, I think this is. Oh, I think this is her grave. To the graveyard. Or you get to raise the dead. Uh, this isn't a ghost house for the Sega Master System. Oh, yeah, that fucking game. <laughs> Master of Darkness is much better. Oh, for sure. Isn't there like 
a cutscene, like, soonish, where... Actually, no, I think that's, like, way later on. It was, like, a really fucked up cutscene. I don't know. I remember it was like this really weird like dream thing, and I remember. Oh, that some... was uh, that was in part ten. Check that out. That's the part before this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that was really fucked. I will just post that in League of Ordinary Gamers. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll add that one to my watch later list. But yeah, it was yeah. Like, you saw like three like shadow links, and it's funny because I remember I told my friend about that, and he didn't believe me it was actually a thing. And I'm like, well, that's why you don't skip the fucking cutscene, dumbass. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You stupid idiot. You just made the list. <laughs> All right. So our prize is the Zora armor. That's what we need to get through the Lake Bed Temple later on. Yep, and you happen to always wear flippers uh, all day, every day. Yeah. Getting into the Q Shadow. I know, I know. We got one more. Uh, the third and final part of the Fuse Shadow to still collect a little bit later on in the game. Yay, the Water Temple. I think of a great ending. That's the end of the part. Well, let's take care. Yeah, I'll see you guys around this ocean.